Hey guys, today I wanted to bring you something pretty cool. Um, I won a giveaway and it just so happens to be from someone that I think is an absolutely wonderful person that I'm so thankful I've gotten to know through YouTube and I'm continuing to get to know. And you've heard me mention her before. Her name is Clara Barrera and she did a giveaway that I won and I was so excited and it was legit she didn't just pick me because we know each other she did um her video um like a random comment picker thing on her phone or not comment she put like all the names in and then it picks a name and it was my name so that was really exciting and I got the package yesterday yesterday I got it yesterday um when you're seeing this it won't be yesterday but whatever I wanted to use this right away and share it with you guys because number one, it's really cool what it is. And number two, I wanted to share what she got me and show her that I'm using it and just um, my appreciation. So thank you so much, Clara. I am super excited to do this video and um, try these products out and share with you and everyone else who's watching. I just want to say, have you ever had one of those days where you're maybe feeling a little more brave than you should? I think I'm having one of those days. I, a few weeks ago, I was like, I'm so tired of my hair. It's scraggly. I have very thin hair. Um, what you see right now in front, this is all of my hair. Like, there's nothing in the back right now. I have extremely thin hair. So, it had gotten really scraggly. And, because it was really long and I hadn't cut it in over a year. So, I'm like, ugh, I can't stand it, but I don't want to go pay to have it trimmed and whatever. So, I was like... I'm just gonna trim some off. So I trimmed off about an inch about three weeks or so ago. Well, it's still been bugging me. I can't stand it. I had had layers cut into it last year and so like the bottom layer was probably about like this long and just real thin and straight. It was terrible. So today I got out of the shower and I was like, you know what? I'm tired of this hair. I'm gonna cut it. So I cut about two inches off today. So total I've cut about three inches off in the past few weeks. It's still long. But, um, it used to be, like, down here when it was, yeah, yeah. Sorry, that was kind of obnoxious. But, um, yeah, it's just, it looks so much better. And, like, on the bottoms, it doesn't look like this scraggly, thin, whatever. My hair is thin. There's nothing I can do about that. But, um, it definitely looks better. But, so that was brave. And so then I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'm going to shape my eyebrows. Maybe I'm going to tweeze like the heck out of them and do. I'm like, girl, you better stop yourself. Just relax. So I'm relaxed. And tomorrow I'm going to be coloring my hair. And who knows? I might take another half inch or inch off. We'll see how I feel. So, yeah, I'm just feeling a little brave. Um, that has nothing to do with this video, but I just thought I would share. <laughs> so um, I wanted to show you what she sent to me. She sent me the Pure Celebrate Your Selfie. It's their 16 year um, like celebration for Pure, the cosmetics company. And so they put together this really cool collection of things. Um, this is the box that it came in, which shows up here that it's $49, but it's a $320 value, which is pretty awesome. And then on the back, it shows the different colors and what comes in there. So that part's not the exciting part. What is super exciting is this like are you kidding me look at what are you kidding me look at this thing yay like who doesn't love that if you don't love that there's something wrong with you but yeah so super cute so it says celebrate your selfie pure up here and so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the eyeshadows I like this and it makes the number 16 in case you can't figure that out which I'm sure you can um, but look at those pressed glitters I can't wait to use those. And then also on this side you get a highlighter and two blushes. And on this side, it keeps wanting to catch in here, you get lashes, mascara, and a liquid lipstick. Like is this not the cutest thing? I'm just gonna, this little cover on these eyelashes keeps wanting to pop up and makes the drawer hard to open and close. Um, I am so excited to use this. So what I did was put the rest of my makeup on, but obviously I didn't do blush or highlight because that is in this palette or eyeshadow. Um, I don't think I will be using, oh, not, not I don't think, I know I will not be using the um, 
lashes and mascara today because for one I don't think the mascara is waterproof but even so I have a couple of mascaras open and I hate to open one and have it dry out like so I don't want to do that and I'm going to a football game tonight at high school you know high school I don't think I need lashes today I mean it might be a little much so um I'm not going to use those but I am going to use the lip and the cheek products and the eyeshadow to do a look. Um, tonight is my middle son Riley who is a drummer. He has drummed with a marching band since he was in fifth grade he started a band. He is a junior in high school and he next year is going to be doing a program right now this year he goes to high school half a day and he goes to a tech center for the second half of the day where he's doing IT training and that kind of stuff. Um, internet technology in case you don't know. And following in his dad's footsteps. And um, next year he will be doing a program where he goes to college in the morning and the tech center in the afternoon. So he will not be attending high school at all next year for his senior year. Which means he's not doing band because he could technically but it would be very difficult and he kind of just decided not to overload himself like that so tonight the reason we're going to the football game it is the very last time we will get to see him perform on the football field with a marching band so this mama is pretty sad because I've been watching that kid play in the band since fifth grade and I still thought I had another year left, but now with the way this program is working, I don't. So, so tonight is a little bit bittersweet for me. Um, but I thought, you know what, I'll make myself feel better and do my makeup cute with this awesome set that Clara sent me. And also, I'm like, you know, it feels like a little bit of a sign to me because he's 16. And the number 16 is what the eyeshadows are um, shaped in. Which Let me take the little plastic off so you can get a better look. And so I thought, you know what, it just seems fitting to use this today. So I am going to go ahead and do some sort of look with this. I'm not sure what, but I'm going to go ahead and do the eye look. And then at the end, I'll tell you what colors I used and that kind of thing. So it doesn't take a million years. All right, here we go.
now I'm done. <laughs> so I am done with the color on my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and just run through with you what I did. Um, first off, I used the color Pure up here, Whoop, right here, all over the whole entire lid from lash line up to my eyebrow. Then I took Fulfilled over here and I used that as my transition shade. Then I went to the outer edge and I used Height, which is this bright pink right here by my pinky. And then um, next to that, I put 110%. And then on the rest of my lid, I did Emotional, which how fitting is that? And then, um, for, and then I took, right just on the outer V, I took Hangry. These names crack me up. And then for my lower lash line, I started with Hangry, but then it wasn't dark enough for me. So I decided to go in with Confident right here. And then I just smoked that out with Height on the like outer two thirds, basically. Um, and then for the inner corner, or well, for the brow bone, I did Devoted, which is right here. And then for, I did that in the inner corner, but it wasn't quite what I was looking for. So I added some Glamorous. So that is how I did that part. So let's go ahead and go into the cheeks. And I think I'm going to use this shade down at the bottom here called Flirty. So let's just see how that looks. I'm going to go in careful at first because if it's really pigmented, I don't want like bright pink clown cheeks. So we're going to try to avoid that. As you can see, I like to kind of stamp it on and then drag back. Um, this shade I think is beautiful. I'm going to take this brush and just kind of blend my bronzer and the blush together a little bit. And I usually do that too, like right after I apply blush. That way, if it is a little intense, that brush kind of helps, you know, chill things out a little bit. Um, but I love the color of this blush. I think it's really pretty. It's not like, whoa, in your face. It's just subtle and pretty. It's exactly what I want a blush to be so I'm happy about that and now I'm gonna go ahead and go into the highlighter up here that's called lit and we'll see how that goes Okay, I'm very happy with that highlight. I think it's very pretty. It's, I think you could build it if you wanted it to be more intense, but I like that it's buildable and that goes on like, whoa, because that's just not really, I think that looks pretty on people, but that's not my aesthetic. Like, that's not how I usually wear highlighter. So, um, I think that is really pretty. So, I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes and liner, and I will be right back, and we'll do lips. Okay, so I just went ahead and tight lined my upper lash line with black eyeliner. Um, did my waterline with the NYX Wonder Pencil in light. And then just put two coats of mascara on. And of course, I curled my lashes. And so now we are going to go ahead and use this lip color, which looks very light. So I'm a little bit scared. Not going to lie. I guess I could have got it out before I came back here. So this is what it looks like. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm thinking a... I don't have a good lip liner though. We all use this Wet n Wild Color Icon um, lip liner and it's in the shade Willow because I think Otherwise, I'm going to look like, I'm not really sure what, but I don't think this is going to be a color, like a standalone. So let me go ahead and line my lips. Okay. 
Okay, so there's a little bit of color there to hopefully keep this from being like super duper bright. So, woo! Hmm. Doesn't have a good smell. More like a chemical smell. It smells like, like really strong plastic when you open, like it makes me think of opening a toy as a kid on Christmas. Or like a raft or something. I don't hate it, which might be weird. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Okay, so it's actually a gloss. I guess it might say that, and I just didn't look. Um, the color is called DIY. High Shine Lip Gloss. But I think it was a good idea to put the pencil underneath because I do like the color that it came out as a very pretty nude, which I think goes perfect with this eye look. And I don't know what you guys think, but I am very happy with how my eyes turned out. Like, I keep looking at it and being like, oh, oh, I like that. And it feels good to look at yourself and feel that way. So I actually really love this eye look. So you guys will have to let me know what you think of it. And I think I definitely will be doing some more... Um, videos with looks from this palette because there's some colors in there and I want to use those pressed glitters. I just felt like today wasn't quite the day for it. But um, I'm thinking holiday looks. Like, let me show you those colors again. Like, look at those pressed glitters. I don't even think my camera will pick it up for how incredible they are. But they are awesome looking so I cannot wait to use them so um, I definitely will do, be doing more looks with this palette so this is the pure celebrate your selfie palette that I won from Clara I am so thankful I hope you guys will go check out her channel she is a sincere person she's not gonna give you feed you a line of bowl about anything when she talks about products she'll tell you exactly what she thinks of them um, and I greatly appreciate her um, the work and the time she puts into trying different things and being able to share about them with us. And so I definitely hope that you will go check her out and support her channel. And I thank you so much again, Clara, for this. You guys, let me know what you think of this look, how you think it turned out, what you think of this little set here. I think it's pretty awesome. I'm very happy with it. Um, I will leave in the description, well, in the description box or right here how the eyeshadows and stuff, how the products wore for me today. Um, and if I've worn them more before I end up editing and uploading this video, I will let you guys know um, either up here in the description box about how things wore and that kind of stuff. Because that's important. Like you want to know how the products perform, not just how they look when you first put them on, but do they last? Does the color fade? Does it get patchy? Does that kind of stuff. So um, yeah. I am very happy with this so far, and I hope that it will stay like my other pure palettes that I have. The shadows perform amazingly and stay very well, so I hope that this will be the same. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel. If you are an old subscriber or a recent subscriber or just a subscriber in general, thank you so much for being here and watching me yet again. And I hope that you guys will hit your notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And I will see you guys very soon. I hope you have a great day. Bye.